Absolutely. By faith. Matthew 6, 22, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore the eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. How much darkness does it take to steal our faith? A little bit of leaven. Leaven's a whole lot. A little bit of sin. A little bit of unbelief, doubt, fear, worry, oppression. It can steal your faith. And all those represent evil. God said no man be tempted. God's not a tempter of evil. He tempts us to walk in faith. And we look through his eyes. Love. Light of the body is the eye. Therefore the eye is single. What's it mean to be single? You know, I like to play golf. But when I'm out there... I can see that. It's called the green, and there's a flag out there. Out of the distance. Now I'll zoom in on that flag. I'm single. It's like a hunter that's looking through the scope of his rifle. He's got his eye beaded on that. He's single. And when we look to the eyes, to the eyes of faith, we have our eye just single, right on what God has said. Maybe it's a cross. Have you fixed your eyes on the cross lately? Have you fixed your eyes on the things of, of heaven, being heavenly minded? I've heard people say, well, if you're too much heavenly minded, you don't work the good. Hallelujah! Part of me and mine. And my mind is fixed on the things that are above, not the things on this earth. Doesn't mean God don't want us to have things because if you'll seek the kingdom of righteousness, the right way of walking by faith, these things just come to you naturally. You know, every morning I'm thrown on the floor and money finds its way in my pocket. I go to Sam's or I go to Walmart, people tap me and put money in my pocket. Then you're welcome. Walking by faith. Why? Well, I, I want to bless you. I want to help somebody. Pay their house note. Help somebody buy a brand new car. Help their children. College. A hospital bill being paid. I have to do that by faith. I'm not a prosperity preacher, but I'm not a doomsday poverty preacher either. I believe that when you give to the kingdom of God, God gives back 30, 60, 140. I believe when you step out in faith, God will meet you every time. See, what's impossible for man is not impossible for God. My God's a faith God. He spoke everything through his words of faith. He's a creator. The devil's no creator. He can't create anything. Bible calls him a destroyer. A liar. Whose voice have we been listening to lately? Voice of faith? Kick that devil out if you're hearing the voice of defeat. Rejection? Worthiness? Thoughts of suicide? It's not faith. That's death. God's not the creator of death, He's the creator of life. More abundance, He said. Then not depart from thy eyes, keep them in the midst of thy heart. My eyes are ever toward the Lord. The Word. God's only Word. It's alive. It's not a dead letter. It's only dead for those who don't participate in it. <laughs> if you're not going to use it, then you're not going to use it. Why are you blaming people and God? You're not using what's even available. You know what? It's not just for Christians. It's for everyone. God died for the just and the unjust. You know, if we could take our eyes off looking at, you know, these people in the world that don't know Jesus and always seeing their faults, discerning what they're thinking, why don't we just discern what we need to start thinking about and keeping our eyes on the things of God and let God use us and hopefully we'll bring other people in. Did you know that you're a magnet? Because you're a bunch of faith beings. We're faith beings, faith creatures, new creations. In Christ. This world needs faith. 
You're the obstacle God's going to use to draw them in. If you let it. Talk about looking through the eyes of faith this morning. Keeping the word before your eyes will create an image of that word within you. So you've got to see yourself the healed. You've got to see yourself the prosperous. You've got to see yourself walking in the things of the streets of glory. You've got to see yourself a minister. You've got to see your children coming back. You've got to see your children off drugs and alcohol and tobacco and gambling and pornography. You've got to see yourself free from that. Through the eyes of faith. You've got to see yourself dressed in white standing before the Almighty God. You know, God chose us. And we have an opportunity to choose Him again today. Every day is a good day for the Lord. Through the eyes of faith, love relationship. The devil is a defeated foe. We're giving so much credit. He's a con man. You ever been con? You ever had somebody try to use you, take advantage of your heart? Nothing but a con. How many times does it take before we find him? Stand up for what's right. Even in America. I remember the story how Germany fell and how people said, oh, this will never happen to us as Hitler began to take over. Oh, our people will never be in prison. We, you know, we, we believe in our system. We believe in, in our faith. But they never did anything. Faith is dead without works. It's dead. You know what dead means? Dead. So as we step out in faith this morning, as we leave this place, have an opportunity to prove our faith through loving others, being a blessing for others, and speaking to what's right for others. Not just give them a piece of our mind, but let's tell them what Jesus got to say about it. Let's just tell them what the red letters say in the Bible. Let's don't put nothing in it. Let's try not to add to it or take away from it. Let's just speak what God has. God said, what's one of us going to be born again? Or who cannot see the kingdom of faith? If you're not born again, you're not going to be able to comprehend the things of God. You don't know what faith walking is. It's all by the sense realm. What you feel, what you see, what you hear, what you touch, what you taste. And your heart can be deceived by that. Many Christians are deceived. No one here. God's pleased with us this morning. What you're speaking is... His thoughts, his words. Do you hear it? Do you hear the voice of love or do you hear the voice of reasoning? Words create images. Keeping the word before your eyes will create an image of the word within you. You begin to see. It becomes more real to you than even the things that you can see with your physical eye. Words paint images. The Holy Spirit has painted us a picture this morning. Hasn't he? How do you see yourself? It's through the finger of God. Sometimes it's a... You know, my grandson, he paints with his fingers. It's kind of, kind of smudgy. Kind of, you know, you, you can't really see. But you start singling in on it. Start focusing in on it. Start hearing the voice of of the Lord, start applying your faith, that image becomes clearer. Oh, it's off in a distance at the beginning. It's an appointed time. It's appointed. You see, what God has for us, no man can take. Not even the devil. But I gotta reach out for it. I gotta reach out for it like one in the Olympic Games is running a, a track. He's coming down to the finish line. He leans out to cross and reaches for the goal. The Bible says it's a high calling. You have a calling. You're never going to reach it except through faith. God's not going to make us do anything. You know, I hear Christians say, God made me. God didn't make you do anything. Well, the Spirit made me get up, made me pray. No, He didn't. He gave you an opportunity. That's what God does. He opens up doors for opportunities. 
The devil's always trying to make Christians prove themselves. You have nothing to prove if you know the one, Jesus Christ. I'm speaking to them this morning. The word begins as an image on the inside. God begins to paint in our hearts. First thing he paints, he says, you are the beloved. You are loved. I need love. loved. I didn't like myself. I mean, how can I love my neighbor if I don't like myself? That's the second command. Well, we'll bring people in our lives and they make us feel good, but deep down inside, we know we're not even supposed to be with those type of people. We're supposed to be with the one God has told us to be with. God's Word is designed to paint the image of the unseen in us. Your faith will work only at the level of the image of God's Word that is in you. But Galatians says, For as He was, so are we in this world. As He was, so are you in this world. He is. He was. And He's still the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. God doesn't change his mind just because Steve's in trouble. Just because I have a little step or I fall down. You know? My relationship with Jesus Christ, he, he gives me a kick up off that floor. When's the last time God gave you a little kick said, get up. Instead of the devil kicking you want me to stay down. God's kick is soft. He kind of nudges you. Put you on his shoulders. Carry you the victory. He doesn't say stay there and cry like a baby. He said, get up. God walked with you hand in hand. We read it. You know, I shared this with the people last week. You kind of in the teachings of the faith school here at the church. You're just going to continue to do it until the Holy Spirit wants to do something else. You know, you, you're going to have to learn faith now because. When the kingdom of God comes to this earth, there's still going to be people having to be taught faith. we got to do it. Jump on it. Why don't we just do it? Because everything in the kingdom of God works by faith. So, you know, here we are. We have a great opportunity. Start applying it early before the kingdom of God comes. He told me, he said, Pastor, he said, i got the devil on the run. Well, I said, hallelujah. He said, but the, he's running after me. I said, that's not faith.
Not an attitude that we're better than anyone else, even though we are for no Jesus. But ours is to, to help to bring them in to the truth. The Holy Spirit is the image painter. The Holy Spirit has been sent. He's God. Jesus said, I will not leave you alone. I'll send the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. He will live in you. And He will show us things to come. Show us things to come. How does He do that? Page 950. Page 1,355. Page 653. Shows us through the Word. I have my eyes single. You know what God says about my situation. Lord, I have some needs. Philippians 4.19 says, My God supplies all my needs according to His riches and glory. Lord, I've been going through this sickness in my, my heart. God says, Trust and lean on the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not on thy own understanding, all thy ways acknowledge Him. And He shall lift you up. Up. Trust. You know, Jesus Christ is Lord. The book of Romans says, If we we'll confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that Jesus is Lord, thou shalt be saved. We'll never be ashamed of that. You know, that Lordship of Jesus Christ, it'll get you to heaven. But I have I made Jesus the Lord of my life over my finances. Have I made Jesus Lord of my life over my words? Have I made Jesus Lord of my life in the way I think about things? Have I made Jesus Lord of my life the way I treat others? Because if He's Lord of my life, we'll take me to heaven. And He shall be Lord of my life the way I think about things. According to the way He says, if He's really my Lord. But the Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. I got want still, church. I want the Lord to be. And he is my shepherd. There's a training going on inside of me. And you too, if you let God do it. Quit squirming around. Quit trying to get out of it. It's not going to work by our own might. Pass through to the power of God and his love. And the sharp, sharp sword, the surgeon's blade of the word. That's the only way you're going to get freedom and liberty. Because everything else is temporary. Everything. 90% of sickness comes from the devil. When you go to the sorcerer, I mean the pharmaceutical man, prescription man, he's not going to tell you you need to get your heart changed. He's not going to tell you that you need to get right with God and ask somebody to forgive you. He's not going to tell you that. Gonna cover up the symptoms. The word of God uncovers the symptoms. Jesus is the healer, the deliverer. Amen. We're talking about we're talking about how to walk by faith, the eye of faith. We're talking about things that are seen in this world and are all temporary. Amen. Will you stand with me this morning? I'm gonna lead you through some some confessions. Just search your heart. Search your heart. You know, we're going to talk about God's Word, of course. First thing you need to do is, you know, if you're in sin, you need to repent. You say, well, I, I don't sin. Well, there's the first thing. Come out, you lying spirit. Come out, lying spirit. Come out, in Jesus' name. Pride, come out in Jesus' name. False security, come out in Jesus' name. The Bible says that we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But what does sin really do in my life? Steals my faith. Opens the door for the devil brings sickness and diseases. Steal your finances. Steal your love relationships. Eventually it will steal even your walk with God if you let it. Say this with me. Say, I come. I come in the name of Jesus with a teachable, reachable spirit. Holy Spirit, I receive.
by faith what you have said this morning. I ask you to make it active in my life. In Jesus' name.